we have got uh, Yogendra Yadav is with us, fantastic to have him again wow. and uh, KC yeah, Tyagi, wonderful to have you. KC Tyagi of the JDU uh, also joining us, uh, Yogendra Yadav, uh, <laughs> what I mean, what, what, what do you think is, what, what do you make of it? Where, from when we spoke in the afternoon, in the morning, where, what do you make of where we are now? It's so close. Uh, the one point we underlined, uh, the one point we underlined throughout the morning uh, session was, it's not over yet. Things can change. Yes, so yes, I remember out. you saying that. And yes. that uh, warning has uh, uh, held us. I mean, all of us said that in different ways. So uh, that has uh, stood us uh, in good stead. Uh, to my mind, uh, we have an outcome. We should have an outcome very soon. We do not have a mandate at all. Uh, the outcome is somewhat uncertain. It is also uncertain because uh, while we are reporting 243 trends, only 50 have been declared. So 183 seats still have to be decided. Margins are small. And the Madhya Pradesh story could easily be repeated. Uh, and if the BJP, if the NDA goes down even by three or four seats, uh, everything could change. Yeah. Because the other thing we need to remember is BJP has virtually no room outside the NDA because other than NDA and Mahagat Bandhan, you only have MIM, which has five seats, uh, yeah. which can do anything, which may do anything underhand, but will certainly not ally with the BJP openly. And after that, you have the BSP right. and one independent. There is no other room for maneuver for NDA. So at this stage, we cannot rule out to the possibility that Mahagat Bandhan may actually form the government, be as it may. Uh, whatever the outcome. The important thing is that we do not have a mandate. Uh, it would be wrong to say right. that uh, NDA, even if they form the government, to say that they had a mandate. Right. Mr. Nitish Kumar has clearly uh, been... Uh, yeah. I'm going to do a terrible thing because I, I uh, respect your view so much. I'm going to go through about six graphics which everybody's just seen but you weren't here. <laughs> and uh, okay. uh, get your views on them. Uh, okay. if, the, uh, if we can just get those graphics up, starting with the 12% uh, swing. While they come uh, up, can I just draw we'll attention go very to very fast the, through. Yeah, yeah. Just, as yeah. they come up, yeah, just please, draw please, attention please, to the please. pictures on the screen. That's live from BJP headquarters. Hanuman Chalisa is going on while they wait. Sorry, Pranoy, go ahead. Okay. No, 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 no. That's wonderful to know. Okay, let's quickly go through the graphics so that uh, Yogendra can have a look at it because there may be a hidden mandate in these graphics. Uh, let's start with the swing away since uh, uh, 2019. We have actually seen, oh, it's just gonna take, it's gonna take a minute. Uh, but bottom line is, the first point actually, Yogendra, is that there's been a 12% swing away from the NDA since 2019. In the period of one year, they've dropped 12%. Uh, and the uh, Mahagat Bandhan has gone up by that uh, 12, almost 12, about 11.3%. So there's a huge change. And actually, he, he, oh, here we are. So NDA down 12%, MGB up 11.3%. And even compared to 2019, you can see, uh, uh, you can see the vote differences. Let's move on to the next one. Uh, it's that, you, you know that 12% is a massive swing. Move on to the next graphic. Uh, if the machine is uh, working fast enough, sorry, maybe I su I'm surprising the machine, poor thing. Okay, uh, how is 220 uh, different from 2015 even? The NDA down from 2015 also, and the Mahagat Bandhan up eight, but this is not very fair because the alliances have changed. Let's move on to the next one, but still, bottom line, uh, not good news for the NDA. Uh, now, of course, uh, in this election, what we found in Bihar, the swing away of minus 12 is worse than the swing away in Maharashtra even. So you can see this, from 2019, the BJP or the NDA has had a swing away in every state election, minus 8.7, minus 21, minus 21, minus 16, and now minus 12. An average swing away of minus 16 in the period of a, a year. Uh, if we just move on a little more. And uh, this, this was the point we were making just now, which you probably saw. 
of how the LGJP has cut into uh, the JDU vote because he only contested where the L uh, JDU was standing. So the JDU's got 43 seats, down 28, but if we do not have the LJP, they have no cutting in, the JDU would be the largest single party at 77, up 6. And last graphic, I can give you 20 more, but I'll stick with one more. The, uh, we asked for which are the 20 seats which are less than a thousand margin at the moment. Uh, and, 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 and it turns out that 10 are, uh, MJB is leading with less than a thousand votes. Just look at them. 33 votes, 193 votes. And they are Congress, RJD, CPI, etc. And then 10 seats with uh, the NDA leading by less than a thousand votes. I mean, you can see Sivan 37. These are really, really tiny. Of course, the counting is very slow. Uh, but all this tends to show uh, that while the expectations have been compared with the exit polls, so it, it looks like uh, the BJP hasn't uh, done as badly as the exit poll suggested, but actually the minus 12% from 2019 is not something to be pleased about. It's a long-term worry, an underlying worry. I completely agree, Dr. Roy. Increasingly in our television analysis, uh, we allow the exit poll to frame our expectation. And much of our response about who's won or who's lost is with reference to what the exit poll said. But that is not how it should be. It should right. be with reference to what actually That's happened right. earlier. So there's, uh, there is no doubt uh, that uh, the, this is a big setback for BJP. There is no doubt that uh, compared to 2019, uh, it is unable to replicate. It could not do it in Maharashtra, could not do it in Haryana, although it formed the government. But uh, there was nowhere close to repeating the performance. In Delhi, of course, it swung absolutely the other way around. So the idea that you win national election and replicate it in state elections simply does not hold. And the initial period after 2014, where Mr. Modi's magic wand could win him anything anywhere, that simply doesn't hold. That's absolutely true. Uh, it, one can see it as a mandate against the BJP and DA regime in Bihar. However, we cannot see it as a mandate in favor of Mahagat uh, That's the point I wanted to make, right. and that's why I would not call it a yes, mandate. Yes, yes. Uh, I think uh, right. it is true that they just we managed to create a certain uh, a certain hawa. Uh, he was very dynamic, worked very hard. Uh, he did raise un unemployment as a concern was articulated, right. but his solution of the magic 10 lakh uh, jobs that he was to offer, that perhaps does not click. He did manage to bring out the dissatisfaction with Nitish regime, which has been brewing over the years, but he could not translate into Vishwas for himself. Uh, that's why, uh, you know, broadly one would say there is an outcome, but there is no mandate right. here. Right. Um, if he could, just one last point on that. Yes. He may be marginally high, highest in the number of seats, 75 to 74. But in terms of votes, RJD is by clearly the largest single party in the percentage vote so far. I think they're about 3% above even the BJP. Anyway, yeah. that's a separate yeah. point. I mean, that may not be fair because RJD has contested more oh, seats. Yeah. RJD has contested 144 compared to only 110 for the BJP, right. 115 for others. But as right. you said, that's a minor correct, point. Correct, correct, correct.